Hey everybody, here's a video on how to use Samsara uh, throughout the day. So once you get your Samsara login information, you wanna make sure you add it in here correctly. Each company will be um, different or have their own sign-in. For me, this is it. So once you put in your login information, you're gonna go ahead and push sign in. You're gonna to wanna to let it, so I have 11 messages. Your editor will probably send you your e-log uh, guy that's in charge of the e-logs. He'll probably send you information, uh, messages throughout the day or during the week or whatever. So make sure you always check your messages. There might be some updates or whatnot. So once you get to the login information, you always want to add the vehicle. Um, let's just say you're logging into a vehicle and it's nearby. Let's go ahead and log into it. Every time you log into a vehicle, remember to review their driving segments. If you're new to this truck, go ahead and just select all. And then down here, it'll say, not mine. Go ahead and push not mine and then confirm. That way you can get into that truck, clean slate. You're gonna push done, add the trailers. Uh, we just picked this, these ones right now for, for training purposes. Go ahead and add them. Let's do it again. Select the trailers. Make sure you push select the trailers. Now, um, also your shipping ID, that's where you're gonna put in like whatever uh, delivery receipt number you have or a PO or whatever to distinguish or to give, uh, they, they give you for each load. Each company is different. So you can go ahead and put those numbers in there. Let's just say mine's a hundred or a thousand. Go ahead and save it, done. Now we're gonna start our day. So we're gonna to go to on duty. Here we have different selections, sleeper berth. If you have a truck with a sleeper berth, you can use that as off duty. Or if you wanna take a break or a lunch, you can do it on sleeper berth. So always remember that. Here's a yard movement. So like if you're at a packing house or a drop uh, area where you're gonna drop a load, you can use yard movement if you're gonna move around in there, if you don't wanna waste your drive time. Personal conveyance, um, that's a whole different issue and a whole different uh, set of rules on that. Remember, if it's something that you wanna do and you're out of hours that you wanna do, like go to the gym, go to the store, go to the laundry mat, go to Walmart, you can use the truck as a personal vehicle. It is not to advance on a load. It's not to deliver a load. So make sure you have hours when you're doing all that. And again, there's more videos uh, on YouTube that you guys can check out for that. I'm not gonna get into too much of that, but just remember, it's gotta be something that you wanna do, like go to the movies. You can't feel, you can't do anything that you normally do on duty, okay? Uh, so now we're just gonna go on duty and we're gonna add pre-trip. Save. Now that you're on, you're uh, on duty, you're in front of the truck. Now we're gonna create a DVIR. We're gonna choose a truck first. We're gonna make sure that the um, <clears throat> license plates match to the truck that you're driving. Sometimes they don't update it, so make sure that's updated. Uh, we're just gonna pick uh, pre-trip. We're gonna go over the truck right now, so you can always close the app. Don't get out of it, but just close it. So that way it documents the time that you've been doing your pre-trip on the truck itself. If so, if your company requires you to take pictures, here is where you will select the side of the truck, front, passenger, back. Uh, if there's any defects, here's where you wanna add them. There's different, different types of, of stuff that you can, uh, you know, Put on there if the radiator is leaking if you see coolant leaking you can put that one the starter doesn't want to start transmission uh there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can go through here most of the time you want to just call your equipment manager and more than likely they'll send somebody uh there to fix it or you're at your yard you can just let the mechanic know they're on your yard that something's wrong with the truck once you've checked it all out everything's good you're, you're doing your pre-trip and let's just say uh, 10, 12 minutes have passed by, maybe less, eight minutes. Let's just say eight minutes. Go ahead and push save to drive. Next, certify and submit. 
Now you want to create a DVIR for the trailers. Same thing. We're going to push pre-trip. And if your company requires you to take pictures of it, by all means, you can use these to take pictures. No defects. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can put on there. Landing gear, brakes, uh, coupling devices, uh, whatever, rims, tires. You can add that all in there if there is anything wrong with it. Add photos. And if not, you're going to put save to drive. Next. Let me go back real quick. I'm going to show you. If you ever put on here unsafe, that piece of equipment is no longer going to be able to be added on to Samsara. So make sure that you're getting um, the proper okay from your equipment manager before you put it on safe. So if it has a flat tire, that's obviously not on safe. So you're not going to put it on safe. You can just document it. And if there's more trailers, get another trailer, call your equipment manager. Don't put something on safe that is not on safe. Now, if there's a big piece of metal that's about to fall off that can hurt somebody, that's unsafe. Or if the lug nuts are all loose, the wheel can come off and hit something, that's unsafe. If your tongue on your doubles is messed up, that's unsafe. So learn your unsafe um, issues before you start putting anything unsafe. I would call your equipment manager or your dispatcher, and maybe he can give you a, an okay or not an okay. Again, it all depends on your department. So what we're going to do is go ahead and push save to drive. Next, certify and submit. And you have already done uh, both pre-trips uh, pre on this. Now, once you're done with that, and on here, right now it shows three minutes. But once it shows 15 minutes, I mean, by, by the time you're done with the both pre-trips, you should have at least 12 to 14 minutes. Now's the time to check your your fuel fuel uh, your fuel to see if you need any. Uh, if you need paperwork or maybe extra delivery receipts or whatever it is that you need, now's the time to check to make sure you have it before you go on the road. Once you go on the road, you drive. This will automatically go into drive. So once it goes into drive, it'll show driving and just drive whenever now it's time to to uh, document when you go to your first stop so you've been driving for about an hour let's just say and you get to your destination uh you're there to pick up a load so now what you want to do is change this on duty to off duty and then you want to add a remark which is how you want to properly document your stop so what are you doing there some some areas you're going to be loading and some are drop and hook. Uh, depends on what it is. You you can put on here whatever it is that you're doing. Let's just say I'm loading. I'm going to go ahead and put loading. And then here at the bottom, we're going to save it. So now you're on duty loading. So if you are going to be moving around in that area, you can always use uh, yard movement. If your your loading consists of you of moving around the truck, you can put loading. I'm sorry, yard movement and then uh, loading and then save it so now if the truck moves it won't count against your 12 hour of driving time if you're here in california and if you're out of state well it'll be your 11 hours okay so once you're done doing that and you drive off it will change back to driving so now that you've been driving let's just say you get pulled into the scale okay if you get pulled into the scale you want to always make sure that you know how to properly show the officer your logs. So here we are. Uh, he pulls you over. You're going to go change this to on duty. And you can do here uh, inspection. Save. So now you're on on duty inspection, right? So you're going to save it. Now you, what you want to do is go to hours of service because that's what you want to show the officer, your hours of service. And you're going to look for roadside you can click on roadside now it's going to ask you for a pin what, what this is doing is going to allow the officer to look at your log books without going into your personal information you're locking it it can be any four digit code so once this is opened you can hand over the uh, the phone and the officer can see your last seven days that you've been driving so if you're having any violations that'll show on here so let's try to make sure you have no violations 
Also, let's make sure that you are certifying your days. Certification means you have signed. It's a signed document, okay? And remember, these are federal documents. So whatever you sign that is true and correct, and if not, get your um, your e-log uh, person that's in charge of it. Have them fix your logs if it can be fixed. If not, properly document all your violations. That way you're not having to explain your... Um, the officer, what, what each violation is, if you have any. So now the officer's asking you, hey, I need you to transfer the stuff. Okay, right here, it says transfer. I'm gonna go here, and then the yeah, officer's gonna either give you the email or you can hand him over the phone. He can choose however he wants to receive the uh, logs, okay? So at this point, he's done getting it. You're, <clears throat> you're, he's done getting all your information. We're gonna go out. And now we're going to use our four digit code and then now we have our phone back once that's done you will proceed and you're you're going to end up driving it's going to go on the driving i'm just putting it driving for now that way you can you can see what it looks like when you change your your logs so at this point you're back at the yard you're done for the day you're going to go to off duty but first you want to go to on duty and you want to do your post trip so now you want to document post trip right and then you're going to save it so on here another thing too on here you always want to make sure that you have enough drive time uh here we we're going to have the full amount because we're doing this for our training but here's what how much drive time you have this is how long you have into your break some areas have five hours and for us is eight hours you have eight hours to do your first 30. Here is your total shift, and here's a total cycle. That's what you have left over for the week. Some have 70, some have 80, some have 12 hours of drive, some have 11. If you're out of state, you have 11 and 70. If you're in California, it's going to be 12 and 80. And, and it's always 10 hours off to start your, your days each day and 34 hours. Don't forget to reset your clocks every Monday by being off duty for 34 hours. Once this is done, um, your pre-trip is done. Um, while you're doing your pre-trip, you wanna do a DVAR for your truck, post-trip. And again, you're gonna check out the whole truck. Nothing's wrong with it, no defects. Save to drive. Next, certify and submit. Let's create one for the trailers, same thing. No, not pre-trip, post-trip, because you're done. And then now we're going to go to save the drive. Next. You're done for the day. You want to back up. This is the, the backup button right there. Oh, sorry, I missed it. This one right here. This one right here. Showing you guys. So now you're done for the day. Boom. Off duty. And save. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure you sign out. If you don't sign out and you're logged into that truck, let's just say somebody needs to move that truck that's in the way. Um, if it's in the way, then it's going to it's gonna move and it's going to put you back into on, to driving and on duty. So what you want to do is sign out completely. And that's how you use Samsara throughout the day. And yours can be different. You can have multiple stops. You can have one stop. So make sure you you just repeat the process every time. I just gave you guys information on pretty much how to, you know, use Samsara. Again, if you have any questions or anything that maybe you need help with the video or something, go ahead and leave it on the bottom in the comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Help me out a little bit. I'm barely starting this channel, so you can subscribe if you want. If not, I understand. It's, it's all good. Let's, uh, and... Um, yeah, we'll see you until next time. Have a good one. Bye.